Bladders versus bottles. Pump versus squeeze. That is the question. Don't you make fun of me. Hey guys, Steven here with My Life Outdoors. If you're a backpacker and you watch a lot of YouTube, then you may think that there's only one best way to filter your water. And that's to get a squeeze filter and carry some smart water bottles. But is that really the best way? Well, today I'm going to talk about the two main ways to filter and carry your water and the pros and cons of both. Today we're talking bladders versus bottles and squeeze versus pump filters. So let's get to it. Access. The main benefit to a bladder is the easy access. Your water is always right there, ready, and waiting to keep you hydrated. If you've ever carried a bladder, then you know how nice this is. But a lot of people don't like to carry bladders because they don't pair well with the squeeze-type filters. Instead, they carry smart water bottles because a Sawyer Squeeze, or, or a Mini like the one that I have, will screw right onto the top. Personally, I don't like this because I don't like how awkward bottles are to access. You have to reach around and grab the side of your pack, or, or some people try to fix this by carrying their bottles in a special shoulder strap holster similar to this one. But then you have this large bottle strapped to your chest, and well, that's not much better. In my opinion, bladders are more convenient to access your water, but some people will tell you that they're terrible for backpacking because even though they're easy to access to drink, they're hard to access when it comes time to filter. A lot of times you gotta pull the bladder out of your pack when it could be buried by gear, and then if you're using a squeeze filter, the bladder can be awkward to hold upright and squeeze simultaneously. If you're gonna carry a bladder, your best bet for filtering is a pump filter like the Katadin Hiker. Most bladders have a quick release valve where you can plug a pump filter straight into the bladder with no need to open the bladder itself. But you still gotta dig the bladder out of your pack and put it back later, which can be very inconvenient. That's why for most people, it's easier to carry some smart water bottles. But don't give up on bladders just yet. Camelback makes an awesome little adapter called the HydroLink, and this allows you to pump straight into your drinking tube without having to pull your bladder out of your pack. Just leave it in your pack, pump straight into the bladder, and no more access issues. The only problem that I've had with this is I don't know how much water I'm pumping, but I fix that by counting my strokes, and it takes about 50 strokes to get a liter of water. But the other problem is you don't really know how much water you have in your bladder before you start pumping, which could lead to overfilling. But even with those drawbacks, I still prefer carrying a bladder over carrying a bottle strapped to my chest. Ease of filtering. So my number one complaint about the Sawyer squeeze filters is the way that you collect the water. I remember the first time that I bought one of these and I tried to fill up this stupid little pouch with water. It's nearly impossible. I mean, sure, you can use a cup, but a much better way is to buy a Canuck water bladder with its wide opening. It makes it so much easier to scoop the water into the bag and then attach it to your filter. The major benefit of filtering with a Canuck and a squeeze filter is that you don't have to stay at the water source. You can scoop up some dirty water, take it with you, and filter later when you need it. With a pump filter, you typically have to stay at the water source while filtering but you could take water with you in the same way and filter later if you really needed to. Another drawback to the squeeze filters is trying to keep your bottle upright and keeping up with all the caps. I find the pump a little easier to manage with no need to find a flat surface for the bottle and no worry of the bottle tipping over in the middle of filtering and no keeping up with bottle caps. But you do have to pump, which can be tiring if you're filtering a large amount of water. Wait. So if you're counting every ounce, and I know that a lot of people are, the squeeze filters are a little bit lighter. The Sawyer Mini with two smart water bottles and the Canuck bag comes in at a total of 9.7 ounces. Whereas my Hydropack bladder, the Katadin Hiker filter, and the Camelback adapter come in at 19.7 ounces. It's a difference of 10 ounces. Life of the filter. The Katadin Hiker can filter 750 liters or about 200 gallons before it needs to be changed. This is mostly due to its carbon core, which can improve the taste of the water, but can also become clogged after heavy use. The Katadin also uses a glass media filter, which is less susceptible to freezing. The Sawyer claims that it can be cleaned indefinitely through back flushing, essentially lasting forever, but there's no carbon core to improve the taste, and if it ever freezes, you shouldn't trust it. Price. So the Katadin Hiker costs about $64. A Sawyer Squeeze costs about $30. A Sawyer Mini costs about $20. A Canock bag will cost you an additional $20. A Hydropack bladder will cost you $33. And a Camelback Hydrolink adapter is $8. So what is the best way to carry, filter, and drink your water? Well, it really comes down to personal preference. And in my opinion, you prefer bladders when you hike and better tasting water than a pump filter is the only way to go. If you don't mind a bottle strapped to your chest and you want to save the weight and the money, then you can go with a squeeze filter. But ultimately, it's up to you. So what do you prefer to filter your water with? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't mind, go ahead and like this video so that YouTube knows that if you like it, others will also. 
Don't forget to subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and also subscribe to me on Instagram. And as always, thanks for watching. He's making fun of me in my line of sight so that I'm messing up because I'm thinking about him. <laughs>